But right now, uh, we are going to kick things off here. Over on the right-hand side of the stage, that's Tom Smith. How about a round of applause for Tom Smith? Next to Tom, we've got Kelly Flatley. A round of applause for Kelly. Next to Kelly, that's Dan Tappen. And kicking off this round, please welcome Audrey Busanich. is worth trying to find than the love that shines through the deepest dark when you see the real thing you'll know it won't ever fade even if sometimes loving someone means walking was lovely. <laughs> so since this is a songwriter's round, I thought I'd start out with a tribute to a songwriter. I don't know how many of you have heard of the songwriter Dave Carter, but if you haven't, you ought to go over to YouTube or Spotify or wherever you get your music and do a listen for your own sake. This summer was the, the 70th, an 70th anniversary of his birth and the 20th anniversary of his untimely passing, just as his career was taking off. I wrote this song as a tribute to Dave, but it kind of also turned into a meditation on the creative process. Starts as just a grain of grit, a tiny crystal seed. 
spins itself a Christmas tangled in a tree builds its body over time a message wrapped in metered rhyme form and structure we must find to set it free and follow the butterfly to the mountain follow the butterfly to the sea songs are forged of dreams and bone and shards of secret grief we who write them pour our hearts in a But masters we admire, paint words with brush of fire, stroke strings on lyric lines, sing our hearts to peace, and follow the butterfly. Sing to me, O oh prairie sage, sing of happy town and river. Sing an ode to Saint Dolores, join our hearts in Eden's chorus. Sing, gentle soldiers, sing of winter's woes, a song to carry. there was a meteor blazed across the sky cast a brilliant shadow a mystery of how and why lifted us on raven's wings to where the cowboy sings echoes of prairie winds let our spirits fly the butterfly to the mountain. Follow the butterfly to the sea. Sing to me, O oh prairie sage, sing of happy town and river. Sing an ode to Saint Dolores. Join our hearts in Eden's chorus. Sing of gentle soldiers, sing of winter's woe, a song to carry with me when I go. Song to carry with me when I go. My string snapped right before this, so we changed it on the spot. So I hope it stays in tune. Yeah. This song is called Poison. Thank you. <laughs> I always picture you.
always picture you stalling, loitering in parking lots and street lamp spots, with your jacket zipped and your rosy lips saying one last thing, ignoring the air's cold sting as you think about the way you love me and this is the first time in years i feel like i'm losing my grip i can't say I like how it feels to not feel you reach for my fingertips I turned 22 yesterday And you didn't pick up the phone I guess you moved on for real That's good, you've grown Picture you leaving from my driveway that day. You pulling away that letter you wrote. That beautiful prose. Me begging to be where you are. You composing yourself in the car. I said the wrong song title before I played that. That one's called The Way You Love Me, if you didn't intuit that. <laughs> that was gorgeous. Thank uh, you. Love the harmony that we, that was set off. Wonderful. And I love the way Matt and Abby put together uh, studies in contrast. Uh, uh, this is kind of old school. <coughs> And uh, as an old school folk singer, I'm often influenced by the front pages. And frankly, I've been a little depressed the last uh, couple of years, maybe. So I write songs sometimes uh, in response to that, this one to pick myself up. And in the first verse, you'll hear a close encounter with nature that actually happened. A fly struck my bee string. No one was listening. I heard her singing the song of this place. On this blessed morning, arrived on a fly's wing, the herald awaking. Amazing grace. A small sound in the forest, a voice lost in chorus, those gone before us, obscured by the noise. But today I will listen and uncloud my vision, release the musician and give them my voice. I spread my wings when the sun comes up. The whole world spins in my coffee cup. I've got a magic wand from the Milky Way. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. A chorus. A chorus. Try it. 
It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. I hear you. Dandelions like powder puffs. It's a perfect time to fall in love. A bluebird song and a feather spray. Wake up. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. I feel better already. How about you? I displaced my grief with the will to care. I shed that thief we call despair. Here comes the dawn, I'm unafraid. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day when I will turn myself around. I'll make things better than I found. Please lend a hand, there's a lot to do. There's a tree to plant and an attitude. There's a heart to mend and a world to save. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Thank you. playing for you guys today are for my most recent EP called Go For A Drive. And this next one um, was my debut song to have in a TV show. So it's, pretty, it's a pretty special song, at least in my book. Um, and it's called Take Time. So here goes. no time to fall right back in who we were before life happened and all that time just disappeared be your best friends and do this again talking to every night when I think of you and the future tense I call you mine baby there's no reason for a big rush but I kind of want to see where this could take us if you want to go
chair that I keep falling on to. <laughs> One thing about the past few years, it's got a lot of people dreaming about escape. Leaving in the morning, catch a plane to Paris, France, hang out at the corner cafe, walk the sand, learn to dance. Maybe she will write a novel, read the works of Baudelaire, come the morning sunrise. Say goodbye to Claire. Claire is leaving in the morning. Sail a ship across the sea. Ride a camel down the Nile. Scale the heights of ecstasy. Set out on a wandering highway. God knows where, but come the morning sunrise, say goodbye to Claire. Stars will be diamonds in the desert sky above. The moon, a lantern. On the path to true love If you walk by her apartment Or call on the phone If you're looking for her Claire will be gone Dishes in the sink. Tell the boss go to hell. Instead of waiting for the bus, she'll fly to meet the Southern Cross. For her deepest dreams are lost. Goodbye to Claire. Goodbye to Claire. Poison for real. <laughs> not, not gonna mess it up this time. I'm guilty. Is that what you wanted to hear? Are you? Mouth. I want it 
to turn off my life, ignore it, push it all down. Believe me, not an ounce of this turned out as planned. We both felt the shift. Now we can wash off the blood from our hands. Cause it's poison like the water we drink. It's poison like conspiracists think. It's poison. We already know that this is gonna kill us if we don't let it go. Whoa. Audrey and Kelly, I, d uh, I haven't known your music before mm -hmm. today, and this is a great joy to be associated with you on this stage. And Dan and I have been friends for a long time. Um, maybe this one is from the other end of a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, trying to think about what my next album is going to be, and I'm actually considering putting out an album of love songs for old people. Okay. Oops, I got it. Is it up here? In nineteen seventy eight, my wife and I moved into our starter home. Looks like it's turning out to be our finisher home as well. <laughs> About that time, we decided to honor the birth of our first child by planting a sugar maple tree in the backyard. And at that time, the sugar maple was had a trunk about as thick as my thumb. This morning, on my way down here, I measured it. And it's well over two feet in diameter. this spring, a crack was developing between two trunks that split partway up. And because it's a sugar maple and because it was the spring, it was weeping. And I put out my finger to taste the tears. And that uh, started this song. Sugar maple in our yard. We planted many years ago. Two broad trunks grown from one heart, and forces try to pull apart, withstood the weight of winter snows. Sweet memories of 50 springs Rushing upward through its veins Is it one tree or are there two When I see the way it grew I think of me and you
Time will always have its way. Cracks reveal the stress and strain. It's the price that bodies have to pay. But spirit will be laid against the wind and driving rain. We count the autumns as they pass. Can't say which will be the last. Let each season take what's due. Grateful as each one comes through, you hold me up and I'll hold you. That sugar maple in our yard, he planted many years ago. So this next one is called Green, and um, it's sort of the moment before you have the starter home, but you're dreaming of all the things you're going to fill it with. <laughs> I never wanted to be the girl who was helpless, head over here. Stuck on a field You say you keep your feet on the ground But when you talk to me Then suddenly you're off the deep end We play the picture of you and I In a house high up on the hill Where our kids could go sledding this up I just might fall if we keep this up I just might paint the walls in my apartment your favorite shade of green rearrange the bookshelf for the things you like to read I'll picture us together
Thank you. So at our house, <laughs> we have goats. <gasps> really? They're pets. That's, that's part of my dream, you know. <laughs> They're rescues from the MSPCA. That's amazing. Their job is to live in the field by the house and eat poison ivy. Excellent. <laughs> well, we named them. We named them for famous female scientists and engineers. Nice. Jocelyn Belbernell discovered the pulsars, but her supervisor got the Nobel Prize for it. Rosalind Franklin did fundamental work on the structure of DNA, but some men got the Nobel Prize for that one too. Grace Marie Hopper, pioneer and computer scientist. And Tabitha Babbitt, a shaker who invented the circular saw. But when I say we named them, I really should admit that it was my wife's idea and I'm taking credit. <laughs> Girls are planning a party, room from tip to toe. Sure to be music and dancing, regular fade out do Inviting all the neighbors, woodchuck, squirrel, and rabbit. Jocelyn, Rosden, Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. <laughs> the girls are feeling the oats today, a sparkle in their eyes. Sun is higher in the sky, south winds on the rise. Scent on the breeze of flowers and trees and leaves to tease the palate of Jocelyn, Rosden, Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. Robin's returning, maples are budding, daffodils dreaming of bees busy bumbling. Rain early morning brings scent of earth warming, bullfrogs are singing. Apples are squirming, every blushing sunrise, a new world is revealed, and the girls are going dancing in the field. Girls are feeling frisky, ready to paint the town. Shaking off their winter coats, don their summer gowns. Fun flew south with the bluebirds, now it's back, so grab it. Say Justin, Rust, and Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. Light de died a lady died a lady light de day Light a lady died a lady died a lady died a lady Light de died a lady died a lady died a lady died a lady died a Any, any music that has to do with goats, I will listen to. <laughs> I'm also so glad that I'm surrounded by uh, such hopeful music, so I could be the token bummer of the group, but <laughs> that appears to be the pattern. <laughs> um, uh, this song is called Building the Ark. Um, and it's about... Uh, like getting the feeling something's about to be really bad for you. Uh, so getting out before it, right before it reaches that point of becoming awful. Makes me 
sick when I think spiraling down like water flowing from my kitchen sink. I'm trying, but there's something filling up my lungs. When did it get this hard? Cause you've been chosen to swallow me whole now. I better start building the ark now. I better start building the ark. Turn 21 on Monday. Happy birthday, baby. Are you glad I came? And I knocked them back. <laughs> and they all cheered. It's so nice to be the hero soaked in blood. I'm trying, but there's something filling up my lungs. When did it get this hard? Cause you've been chosen to swallow me whole now. I better start building the ark now. I better start building the ark now. I better start building the ark. Now 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 I better start. Now I better start. Now I better start. Start now, I better start. Now, I better start. Now, I better start building the ark. Now, I better start. Now, I better start. Well, if I haven't made the case for myself as an old school musician, old school folk musician, this, uh, this probably will do it. I can't sing this song every place where I perform, but you look like a safe. I think I'm safe with you. So Nove <laughs> November is coming up, right? are on a tear. Some are pulling me to go out and vote. Others pushing me to make sure I don't. Well, I'm registered. And I'll vote. Some say when choosing who represents, we should put our trust in 1%. Cut their taxes to the bone and fill our buckets with the money that trickles down. Let's see, that's 99 for the few and one for the rest of us. Yeah, that sounds about right.
I'm just a guy who works for minimum wage. It must have been like this in the Middle Age. A servant to a feudal lord. I work for the guy with the biggest sword. I shouldn't complain, though, all this useful work I'm doing. Building walls around a castle. Gotta keep out all those uh, job stealers. Now, science says there's no doubt what's causing all these floods and droughts. And when we can't farm or drink due to climate change, they'll still be drinking from their Coke machine. That's the Charles and David Coke machine. Champions of freedom, fossil fuel, with the best politicians money can buy. When their laws, when, when their gods co-author the laws we make, we'll be burning witches at the stake. When we measure the freedom in our land by the count of guns in every hand, and we could thank or blame those of us who voted, and those of us who did not vote. So I'll tell it straight, I've got a choice to make. Do I want to live in a country run by greed and hate? Where black lives don't matter, facts are ignored, gender rights are on the cutting board. Yep, we have a choice to make. Will I see you in November? Yeah. <laughs> Vote. together yesterday and put together some harmonies for this one and, and realized that we we actually met once before long long ago, long, long ago. in a on zoom, zoom universe far far <laughs> away <laughs> uh, we were in a we were in a lyric writing class together so anyways it was fun to get together and um put the song put the song together it's called go for a drive <laughs> Something out there 
Well, this is the fourth and maybe the last round. And therefore, in the spirit of campfire, I'm going to play a song I've been writing recently on an instrument I don't play out very often. <laughs> if at all. I mentioned Dave Carter, the songwriter, in the, um, my first song. This is actually Dave's banjo, but this is not a Dave Carter song. <laughs> um, not only do we have goats, but we have guinea fowl. <laughs> and some of you may not know what guinea fowl are, and well, let's just say they're birds, about the size of a chicken, maybe look a little like a, a small turkey. They're loud, kind of obnoxious. They're kind of like the banjo. <laughs> and when the brains were being handed out, they were off wandering in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> and everything else you need to know, I hope, that is in this song. Guinea hen chuckle, guinea hen cheep. Got no feathers on head or feet. Guinea hen hop, guinea hen fly. Guinea raise a ruckus, you don't know why. Guinea in the high grass, guinea in the weeds, guinea hen a goblin, bugs and seeds. Guinea eat ticks, guinea eat flies, guinea raise a ruckus, you don't know why. Goat shed, guinea in the bride, twelve guineas sitting on a telephone wire, guinea in the road watching cars go by, guinea is a ruckus, don't know why. A song that nobody has heard except I think Jordan. <laughs> um, who, that is Jordan. Um, it was inspired by something my mom said to me. Um, my mom is always saying to me that sometimes the best relationships are the ones you never have because uh, then nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> um, so that's what this song is about. It's called Praxis. Um, and all that word means is like the idea of 
taking something theoretical and making it real. of tea, called my mother, cooked a meal, thought about us kissing and wished that it was real. If I'm being honest, I almost always lie. I find myself in a dive bar, pressed against some guy. And I hate the things he's saying, and I don't like being touched. Yes, of course, his hands are yours, but that would mean too much. Cause you're sweet to me, and I like your smile, it's perfect. When our love is hypothetical, that's the only time it's whole. Cause idealism always suits me best. something real then you'd lose all your appeal cause theory only holds up in my head but praxis comes from ancient greek i think that we shouldn't speak cause it's too convoluted and when i love i'm always losing Architect, stark and white, the disconnect. I'm so cold, it's like I'm somewhere else. Alternate reality, barely lucid fever dream. I wish that I could tell you how it felt. Cause you're sweet to me, and I like your smile, it's perfect. hypothetical that's the only time it's whole cause idealism always suits me best if you and I were something real then you'd lose all your appeal cause theory only holds up in my head but praxis comes from ancient Greek I think that we shouldn't speak cause it's too convoluted So Matt, I'm finishing this round, is that right? Okay. Audrey, Dan, Kelly, this was a wonderful round. It's great to get to know you a little bit. Indeed. Thank you, Matt and Abby, Club Passim, all the volunteers and staff. This is always a pleasure. I think this might be uh, Thirteenth or fourteenth year, I think I've been here at the Campfire Festival. Always a pleasure to come back. Uh, so I'm going to do a song that I co-wrote with my friend Bob Blue. It's actually a parody of a Stan Rogers song. Uh, Stan Rogers, a famous Canadian folk singer. Yeah. So my friend Bob Blue uh, was a school teacher 
and uh, he did a lot of music with his kids in uh, fourth and second grade when he taught. Any school teachers here? I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God bless school teachers. <laughs> and uh, anyway, Bob unfortunately came down with multiple sclerosis, and uh, things were getting kind of bad. As I visited him out in Western Massachusetts, and 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 but he always seemed to be upbeat and up, you know, kind of up tempo kind of a guy. And I asked Bob, you know, how come you always seem to be so upbeat? Life is pretty difficult for you. And he said, Well, I sing. Uh, what do you sing? Well, I sing some of the songs that I sing with, used to sing with my children in class. And I sing songs like Stan Rogers' songs, things that just keep my spirits up. And we went back and forth uh, a couple of times about this, and we realized that some of the songs that he sang kind of go together. So uh, we wrote this. And it has a chorus, so it'll end with a chorus if you kind of get into the spirit of this, okay? This has been wonderful. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Weensy weensy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain, washed the spider out. Then up came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the eensy weensy spider climbed again. She would not let the elements distract her from her goal. The purpose of her journey was embedded in her soul. So let the sun shine down on beasts and women and on men. Be like that eensy weensy spider, rise again. Here we go. Rise, rise again. again, rise again. Never let misfortune keep you from doing what you can. So whether your legs number two, four, six, or eight, or ten, be like that eensy weensy spider, rise again. Eatsy weetsy metaphor is a lesson for us all. We cannot be defeated if we rise each time we fall. And if you think this story's one you've heard too long ago, then think about some other ones you know. You heard the myth of Sisyphus, and you know Jack and Jill. It's such a potent image going up and down a hill. So every time you fall and lose some skin off of your chin, be like that eensy weensy spider, rise again, rise again, rise again. Never let misfortune keep you from doing what you can. So whether your legs number two, four, six, or eight, or ten, be like that eensy weensy spider, rise again. a pint is not like reaching for a star, but whether it's a water spout or mountain that you climbed, you've come this far, <laughs> indulge me one more time. It can be said that each of us climbs up the water spout. The downward push of gravity is not what it's about, it's the upward pull of hope that will save us in the end. Be like that eensy weensy spider rise again. Rise again, rise again. Never let misfortune keep you from doing what you can. So whether your legs number two, four, six, or eight, or ten, be like that eensy weensy spider. Rise again, rise again, rise again. Never let misfortune keep you from doing what you can. So whether your legs number two, four, six, or eight, or ten, be like that eensy weensy spider, rise again.
Thank you all. Thank you all. Tom Smith. I think Stan Rogers would have appreciated that. <laughs> That's Tom Smith, Kelly Flatley, Dan Tappan, and Audrey Busanich. How about a big round of applause for all of them?